Can a law really change the game of political donations and corruption? That's a question many asked back in 2005, when the state of Hawaii passed a groundbreaking law aimed squarely at curbing the influence of money in politics. The law was simple in its intent, to bar government contractors from making donations to politicians. It was a bold move, designed to tackle the age-old issue of pay-to-play politics. The hope was that this law would create a more level playing field, where the awarding of government contracts would be based on merit, not on who had the deepest pockets or the most influential friends. It was a law that promised to bring about significant change in the way things work in Hawaii, to restore faith in the system and reassure the public that their leaders were working for them, not for their own financial gain. But as we all know, the road to hell is often paved with good intentions, and that was the case here. As always, where there's a will, there's a loophole. Now let's talk about the gaps that enabled the flow of money to remain unimpeded. Despite the law's intent to halt government contractors from donating to politicians, a few cute strategies found their way around it. Imagine this scenario, fundraising parties thrown by a top-ranking airport official, filled with individuals tied to government contractors. These aren't your ordinary get-togethers, they're strategic gatherings where significant donations are collected and passed on to politicians. On the surface, it's all above board. The money isn't coming directly from the contractors, it's coming from the individuals attending these parties. But look a little closer, and you'll see the connection. These individuals are closely associated with the very contractors the law aimed to distance from political funding. This loophole, this clever sidestepping of the reform, allowed millions of dollars in campaign contributions to flow into state and local races in Hawaii. The connections are clear, and the law is ineffective. Just like that, the reform effort was completely undermined. The repercussions? They were far from minor. Imagine this. Since 2006, over $6 million in campaign contributions for state and local races in Hawaii have come from individuals associated with just 15 contractors. That's a staggering amount of money, isn't it? Can this be good for Hawaii? But it doesn't stop there. It's not just any individuals making these contributions. No, these are individuals linked to government contractors, the very group that the law was designed to restrict. And here's the kicker. Some of Hawaii's most powerful politicians didn't just receive campaign donations from these individuals. No, a substantial portion of their campaign coffers have been filled by these donations. It paints a vivid picture, doesn't it? A picture of a reform effort that was, in essence, completely undermined all in a wink and blink sidestep of a law that should have reformed the system. In politics, money talks, and in this case it's been shouting. So, what can you, as an informed citizen, do about this? It's clear that staying informed and engaged with political issues is more crucial than ever. The story that has been unfolded by the New York Times, working with our own civil beat, showcases the importance of transparency in politics and the role each of us has in holding our politicians accountable. The first step? Keep up with reliable news media. It's our responsibility to be aware of the actions of those in power. Participate in local politics. It's not only about national big-ticket elections. Change often starts at the grassroots level, and your involvement can make a real difference. Engage with your local representatives and keep a close eye on their actions and policies. Don't be afraid to question your representatives. Ask them what's going on. They should be ready, willing, and able to answer your questions. If something doesn't add up, find out why. Demand transparency, demand accountability, and most importantly, don't let your voice be ignored or drowned out. Your vote, your opinion, your voice matters. Speak out loud and clear. Remember the power to change this and to achieve true reform lies in your hands. Stay informed, stay engaged, and let your voice be heard.